Hello and welcome back to Dentures vs. Food, where I try to teach you how to eat with or without your dentures. These are my reading glasses, by the way, in case you were wondering. I don't wear my prescription glasses unless I have to. Did you know that otter pops will help you learn how to bite? So you want to find find the oops, find the flat side for your upper denture. Use your lips to press against both dentures and Now, I personally like to bite slow when I can keep that bottom denture in place. But it also depends on the situation. Sometimes they're harder You'll get one out and it'll be nice and, you know, fairly easy to bite through. And other times you'll get one out and it'll be frozen harder. So when it's frozen really hard, I bite fast. I Like that. You'll have to practice to figure out which way works best for you. And the good thing about these is they don't make a mess in your mouth. So if you go to bite and your denture comes loose or flops down in the back, you're not trying to spit food out to take care of your denture. I do this all the time. I like Otter Pops in the summertime. And they really do. Sorry, I got a chunk of ice under my denture. It hurt for a minute. They really, as you can see, I'm not using adhesive. <laughs> they really do help you with your bite. And learning how to control your dentures just by putting pressure on it with your lips. You can also, once you start to bite, you can push slightly on the food like so. Then you don't have to put quite as much pressure on your lower denture with your lip. These are actually the sugar-free ones and they're very sweet. These can also teach you where the uh, sweet spot is on each side to chew because it's a pretty dense material. It can teach you where the sweet spot is. As with everything, Take small bites. Don't take a giant chunk that you can't move around in your mouth. These will also teach you how to keep food in the middle of your mouth. You can pretty much use anything as a training tool. I'm sure my lips and my tongue are black now or blue now, which is fine. I love these things. It's really hot. It's 106 degrees today. Really hot. Anyway, this is a short video because I just wanted to throw this up at you. You know, I'm always thinking about new ways to learn and new ways to teach. So throughout this series of eating in restaurants and 
teaching you how not to be embarrassed if your denture comes loose or teach you how to eat certain things in public to make you more comfortable or teach you how to take your denture out and clean it and put it back in if you're not using adhesive right there at the table things of that nature throughout this series I'm also going to be trying to teach you small things like this otter pops don't freeze really hard like regular popsicles those freeze really hard that would be very hard to just bite through otter pops don't freeze quite that hard at least none that I've ever had have so they teach you can you bite slow through harder foods can you just real fast bite through it and just kind of break it with you you know the tension of the teeth hitting it and just break it or do you have to bite slow do you have to put pressure on the food can you use your lips to put pressure on the dentures things of that nature it's all a learning process so if you get if you're worried about calories get the sugar-free ones uh, that's what I did because I'm trying to lose weight but they are a great tool for learning hope you enjoyed this if you did please give me a big thumbs up thank you all for continuing to share these videos and for everybody that clicks the thanks button and throws me a donation I greatly appreciate it I can't tell you how much I appreciate it words cannot express my gratitude and that's it I will see you in my next video.